this menu will come up. Okay, now let me, uh, I'm going to just switch over here. So now I'm going to switch the projector over to the, to the PC that Jeff has played on, and you'll be able to see this live. Okay, so Jeff has, um, this is um, trying three, and he's playing the game, and at any time throughout the game, he can just hit a hot key, and that menu comes up. Okay, now, after he pulls up this menu, you can see he has four different options here. Um, the first of which, right here, uh, is instant replay. Now, instant replay, uh, this uses our shadow play technology to automatically record the last five minutes of your gameplay. And because this technology uses the built-in video encoder in our GPU, uh, it has little to no impact to your performance. So essentially, you can just turn it on and leave it on, and you'll always be automatically recording the last five minutes of your gameplay. So you can click there, go ahead and click turn on. <coughs> and you can see there, now it's on. And so now, you can run around, you can game. You don't even you don't really even have to, to notice that it's on. He's automatically recording the last five minutes of his of his gameplay. And again, you won't even you won't notice anything with performance because it's using our video encoder to make sure that, that your performance is not impacted. And so he can play, he can game. Um, and the great thing about this is that he doesn't have to know in advance if he's gonna do something interesting. You know, a lot of really interesting things in games just kind of happen spontaneously. And so in this way, you can capture these spontaneous moments. So let's just imagine he just did, fell off a cliff. <laughs> let's imagine he fell off a cliff and he wants to share that with all of his friends. <laughs> so go ahead and pull up the menu. Um, he can go over to Instant Replay, because he's been recording all of this. And he can hit Save and save it to his desktop, or save it to his computer. Or, if you go back, um, go to Instant Replay and hit Upload, and he will automatically upload that video to YouTube. <laughs> now, before you upload it, let's say you don't necessarily want that whole five-minute clip. Maybe the maybe the beginning part. You know, he actually was just standing around there a little bit in the beginning, so you can trim that off. And the reality is, that we don't want to embarrass Jeff, so let's trim off the part where he died. <laughs> And then you can <laughs> make it a little longer than that. <laughs> then you can basically, essentially, you can select whatever portion of that clip that you want to capture and you want to share. And then one click of a button, upload, and there, you, and it's uploaded to YouTube. So all that's happening from within your game. You never have to leave your game. Click of a button, you can start recording. Click of a button, you can upload it to YouTube and there you've got your clip share. Okay, now in addition to the instant replay, um, you can also do a manual recording. Okay, so let's say, um, for example, you wanna go um, do a little tutorial about how to get through a certain level in a game. All right, this is something that's not spontaneous, so it's probably, you probably wouldn't use instant replay for that. What you'd wanna do is just manually turn on the recording. So you go to the beginning of the level, turn on record, play through the level, and when you're done, you can stop the recording. So in that way, you can either do the instant replay or you can do a manual recording. And then once you're done with that, uh, you can go over here to gallery, and we have an area up here that will save all of those clips, whether they're instant replay clips or whether they're manual clips. You've got them all right here. You can pick the ones that you like and remove the ones that you don't like. And the ones that you like, you can go ahead and upload them to YouTube. And again, all that is done within your game. You, don't, you never have to leave your game. It's all just single click bang and you're done. And this is all a part of GeForce Experience. Okay, so that's recording. Now, uh, let's say instead of recording, you want to live broadcast your game. You can come back out here, go over to broadcast, and again, with a click of a button, you can start broadcasting through Twitch. You have to pre-log in, of course, but once you're there, after you've logged in, Anytime you want within your game, pull up that menu, click broadcast, and you're broadcasting to Twitch. Okay? So that's instant replay, that's record, and that's broadcast. Now I'm going to show you guys one more feature. Um, 
through this share menu uh, that I think you guys are really going to like. So now let's say, you know, you think, about, um, you think about something like Twitch. That really is meant as a way for one person to broadcast out to many people, right? Jeff will broadcast out to everyone, whoever wants to watch. But let's say that uh, instead of that, Jeff just wants to share it with me. He just wants to share it with his friend, you know, hey, I, got, I, gotta, I wanna show you what I'm doing here in Try and Three. There's a quicker and easier way, and, oh, and by the way, there's a, you know, when you go through something like Twitch, um, there's a, it's just the way Twitch works, there's kind of a delay and a pause, maybe up to 30 seconds or a minute delay between what you're doing and what you see on the screen. So now let's say instead of that, Jeff just wants to share it with me. Just a one-on-one -on -one personal latency-free broadcast. Well, he can do that now through stream. And so he clicks right here on stream. He can send an invite. He can send me, uh, he puts in my email address and sends me an invite. And I've got, uh, this is my PC right here. This is my laptop. And uh, he just emailed me an invite, and I've got my mail open here. And in a minute, the invite will just show up in my inbox. Okay, so uh, you probably can't see it there, but the invite's here in my inbox. I'll just go ahead and open it up. And when I open it up, I get this message. And I click on a button, it's an invitation essentially, and I just accept the invitation.